Just the walk. Yes. Nice and cool. Looks like we're going downhill. Yeah, I was wondering like what the heck that was. Mm -hmm. I thought I was looking for the old tree, but it just caught my eye. Yeah, it did, doesn't it? Yeah, so this just keeps going and going. We will come back in a moment once we walk about another 10, 15 minutes in this. I'm just cutting it off because... Yeah, I've heard about that place. Maybe you got disoriented by something. Yeah. <laughs> there was a couple of stories. One guy got lost. In the top when he was a little younger. He was just about teenager. And uh, he spent three days and nights in the slum. Now, what this guy told us that he saw, he was witnessing phantom fires all over the place. He was hearing whispers. Sounds like Will of the Wisp, like Puckwudgie's messing yeah. with him. Oh, yeah, well, he didn't see any Puckwudgie's per se. Yeah. But that sounds like their behavior almost. <laughs> I mean, there's tribal stuff going on. I mean, yeah. Drums and stuff. Really? Holy crap. Uh, he witnessed, there's a ledge. Yeah. It goes into the Black River. Yep. And he witnesses an uh, Indian woman walk up to the ledge with a sack in her hand. Holy crap. And she unwrapped the sack and it was a little baby and then they both jumped into the river and he watched it. Oh, that's the ledge. The that's the ledge that people go to, right? No, it was a different place. That's a different ledge? Okay. There's a shot of it in the Bridgewater Triangle documentary, but uh, my buddy Harry covered it really well. You're talking about the documentary. Did you see the TV documentary that was playing for years on it? Yes. Okay. I, we always joke about the, um, the guy that telling the Puckwudgie story when he was walking his dog. Yeah, uh, that was Bill um, Russo. Oh, really? He, the way he did the thing is so funny. We, we've been seeing it for like 10 years. Or since that documentary yeah. came out, he goes, Kia, come quickly, yeah. here. Uh -oh, and, um, here, <laughs> come here. Come here quickly, yeah, something. He wants you, he wants you. He wants you, come he quickly. <laughs> he was supposed to come on my show, actually, but he disappeared. Oh, sh Jesus. Uh, Hope he didn't disappear, disappear. He's on this documentary that Harry put out. Ago, yeah. Which is cool, but yeah, I guess he didn't get in touch with the guy. He's older, so who knows? Yeah. He might have. The story hasn't changed in all the years, and he says he kind of wish he never had a story. I believe it, because he was, he, it just going by my gut, he seemed like he was saying from his heart there. Now I went down to the random dog track. You did? During that filming. Shit. We're demolishing it. But I went down there, I went in the back. And that's where he saw that, basically? Huh? That's where he had that yeah, encounter? that's where he had the encounter. Oh, wow, man. Yeah, we tried to cover everything while we were down. That's great. It was an exhausting clip, dude. <laughs> yeah. To say the least. I bet. That's a lot of ground to cover. 
there's supposedly like a Michigan Triangle and Bennington Triangle. There's so many triangles everywhere, it's crazy. Yeah. Maybe it's just part of geometry, you know? You wonder. Tri triangles laid over a globe. Look at this. Cool little bridge. Must be a stream. How did the army get their jeeps back here is what I want to know. There must be some way. I know they didn't make like the soldiers walk all the way from the, up there. <laughs> Thick. Imagine trying to go through there. There's a trail, but... Here comes the sun again. I think I hear people in the bunker, I'm not sure. I heard that echo. It's over there. Would you believe it if there's people in there again? I'd be like... Coming sooner or later. I don't know when. I recognize that down there, so we're almost there. It smells like flowers. Yep, we're close. Might as well record this. Yep. I hear people. Okay. Yep, there's people in there. Wow, we came out near the houses. Yeah, I think maybe we have to go this way now. Oh. We're near like the back of where the houses start and Yeah. I'm thinking that could be the thing, but I'm not sure now. We're, yeah, let's take a look over here. This is an awesome bluff too, if you want. We can see them from there for sure because they look out over the water. Right? Amazing. Keep it surfing. Jesus, that's 
Ditch Plains Beach. Huh? Um, that's Ditch Plains Beach right there. They're right here somewhere. I, I'm gonna see if I can see them from here. I guess we. I should have taken the road. I know, but it was. It's right there somewhere. I guess we should just take <laughs> that road back. This is beautiful, though. Do you see it? It should be sticking up above, right, right here. People use this to go to the beach. Wow. Yeah. I guess that's one of the easy ways there. Huh? Yeah. I mean, we yeah, could stick your. We could go down the beach. This is freaking beautiful. It's all scrub brush. Shit, look at this. This is freaking interesting right here. That bluff, the way it hangs down. I got that same shape right there. Look, the bluff. Wow. I guess people take that down too. I think, is that the path we're supposed to take? Your viewers? So. Yeah, the viewers to the right, right? Yeah, it's nice scenery out there. People are out there. People regret it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a lot extra work doing that. <laughs> Walking in the crevice. <laughs> an overhang. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah. Okay. There it is. It says to go this way on the map. Okay. Yeah, because that must stay along the shore, I guess. Doesn't it? Here it is. Uh, we catch one shot here. Yeah, we got sweater web. I just noticed that it's pretty cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. It's spider web. That thing almost got caught in it. Push up. No, no turning. Some people. <laughs> 